South African President Cyril Ramaphosa has urged political parties in the country to find common grounds to form the first national coalition government after the ruling African National Congress ANC party lost its parliamentary majority in a landmark election. The ANC secured 159 out of 400 seats in the National Assembly of the country's 2024 presidential elections. Independent Electoral Commission, IEC, officially announced on Sunday evening at the Results Corporation Center in the Midland, Johannesburg. And let's have more details of that in this report by Isa Tujane. The 2024 South African general election was anticipated to be one of the fiercely contested in 30 years. The main opposition party, the Democratic Alliance, DA, came second with 87 seats in the National Assembly, followed by the KM party with 58 seats and the Economic Freedom Fighters, EFF, with 39 seats, according to the official election results. No party won an outright majority in the National Assembly, with the ANC failing short of the 200 seats it needed to maintain its 30-year-old unchallenged dominance in the lower house of the parliament. The results announced on Sunday represent a drop in support for the ANC, which will must now seek new partners to form a coalition government. In his speech, after the announcement of the election results, President Ramaphosa praised South Africans, saying their ballot had demonstrated clearly that the country's democracy is strong and robust. Our people have given effect to the clarion call that, was, that has resonated across generations, that the people shall govern. Our people have spoken. Whether we like it or not, Amid the outcome of the May 29 election, the president also urged South Africans' political parties to work together for the good of the country and its people and act and work together. And now we are all called upon to recognize that the results of the election in the end reflect the will of the people. What this election has made plain is that the people of South Africa expect their leaders to work together to meet their needs. They expect the parties for which they have voted to find common ground, to overcome their differences, to act and work together for the good of everyone. Meanwhile, the Independent Electoral Commission acknowledged the difficulties of the election process, largely due to the increased competition faced by the ANC. However, it also came out in a strong defense of the integrity of the process. The IEC chairperson also said that this year election faced challenges as attempt to undermine the credibility of the electoral body had been made. Our journey was not without challenges. It sometimes entailed significant attacks on members and key staff of the Commission, attempts to undermine the credibility of the institution and some of its key personnel. We've seen relentless and targeted social media attacks, disinformation campaigns, unwarranted allegations, and sometimes what appeared to be bare acts of intimidation. Following Sunday's official announcement of the election results, the newly elected National Assembly will have 14 days to hold its first sitting, where members will elect the President of South Africa for the next five years by a simple majority. With the clock ticking to form a first ever national coalition government in the country, South Africa's political parties will now be engaged in intense negotiation to determine the country's future leadership. Reporting for iAfrica News, I am 